Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Retch. Hope everyone is doing well. If this is your first time on my channel or if you are someone who's like a lurker, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I am on the mission to hit 100k and honestly it would mean so much to me if you hit that subscribe button. It just really helps me keep going and making these videos. So today's video is one that you guys have requested and that is about how I've used manifestation, how I use manifestations and how I do it in a subconscious way um, and just sharing like how long I've been doing it for and like what really changed in my life. So I've wrote like a list of all the things I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, one of the things I wanted to start this video off with is just to say I am not someone who's gonna do this video and say you know write everything down and then tomorrow it's gonna start coming true and you're just gonna wish hard like it's not about that like I personally have read The Secret I have watched and read lots about law of attraction I'm a massive believer in the law of attraction but I do not think this is gonna happen without hard work like this happens and things will manifest and actually happen and come into your life but you have to do the work, not a magical genie from the sky that's gonna come down and tell you everything's gonna work. Like it's a lot of hard work that's gonna go into this, but what I have found works the best is to do this in a way that is subconscious so that you are not actively thinking every single minute of your day like need to do my affirmations, need to do this, need to do that. Obviously all those things to start with are very helpful and really help if you are in a very negative mind frame but personally I don't get up every morning and do like an affirmation of like what I'm thankful for or I don't like do a thing like a seance or like a set things on fire or you know I don't do these things in the hopes it's gonna happen like I do things subconsciously by doing the things I'm gonna share with you today so that being said let's get going I just want to make things right so I first started doing manifestations after I read The Secret. Someone recommended The Secret to me in 2017. I was going through a really hard time. Me and Anthony were living together in town. I was really struggling financially. I was in debt. I was working full time. I was 23. Seven, and I was working for marketing agencies and I just I felt very lost I felt very much like I don't know what I want I don't know what's going on like am I on the right path and I think towards 30 you you get this feeling anyway where you feel a little bit like am I where I am supposed to be have I made the right choices by now I thought I'd be earning more money very frustrated I'd actually taken a pay cut at that point um and yeah, I just felt very lost and like didn't really know what direction I wanted to go in. All I knew was that I really wanted to have a job where I get up every day and I create content that I love. So whether that's for somebody else or I don't know, I just knew that I loved social media and that I really wanted to have that as like a big thing, whether that, like I just said, was working for an agency or whether that was working for myself. But I didn't actually have a goal. I didn't actually have like an idea of what I wanted. And that's why I got the secret and I sat and I read it. I didn't actually read the whole book I actually only read like as much as I needed took made notes and took what I needed from it and that was I had a really deep chat with myself so I recommend you doing the same thing where you take a night no one else just you on your own and you take a night and you sit there and you ask yourself some really hard questions and just try and really get to know yourself because I think throughout life we're doing things so quick and like going through and like I need to be successful, I need to be married, I need to have kids, I need to do this, I need to have my own house by this point, so there's so much pressure on us and I have to look like this, I have to drink eight litres of water, I have to look like this, I have to be a size six, like there's just so much pressure constantly on us in every single direction you look in, whether it's from your parents, your friends, social media, yourself, like there's just so much pressure in every direction to be at a certain point in your life. I just wanted to say before we get into this, there is no rush. You don't have to have everything tomorrow. Like, I think a really good way to look at things is if you had everything that you ever wanted tomorrow, what would get you out of bed? Like, what would you strive for? Like, for me, and I'm gonna go into this in more detail, the climb and like the excitement of like getting these things to start actually happening is the best part of life. Like, honestly, like when things start to happen for you and you think, Jesus, like I've literally been manifesting this for five years and it's actually finally all coming together and now that all makes sense as to why it didn't happen straight away for me and like why I maybe wasn't ready for that opportunity, then it makes complete sense and it's just like the most amazing feeling. Whereas if you got that all that really quickly and like didn't have that journey, then you know, I don't know, like I just don't think it would be that good. I think it's really important to be patient and just let things formulate together, let the universe 
work its magic, like move forward, not backwards. Something that happened to me back then, as I was mentioning before I went off on a tangent, was that five years ago when I was feeling like that, I made a list of things I really wanted to achieve within five years. I said to myself, right, sat there and I had a really deep conversation. I was like, what is it that you actually want? Like, what do you actually want to do? Like, what is your life? Like, what, what makes you happy? Close your eyes visualize with me like where do you see yourself in five years time is that in your own house is that with a person is that with a career that you want is that with a feeling is that with you in a room like what can you see like what visuals when you close your eyes of what you want to be in five years time or how do you like visualize yourself or like what what is it that you can see when you shut your eyes and you think about you in five years time and i want you to write that down on a piece of paper so it could be literally like i see myself with a karen bob in an office like loving life ordering people around like it could literally be whatever you want it to be it could be that you're at home with your two kids and your dog and your husband and you've got a lovely home or it could be that you're on set at a photo shoot and you work in the in fashion industry and you're so excited and you love your career or it's that you you know on holiday somewhere or it's that you live abroad or any it literally can be anything it's whatever speaks to you like don't use those scenarios I've just given you they're just things I've just plucked from thin air but whatever you saw when you close your eyes you need to write that down on a piece of paper and then try and like work out what that means so, five years ago I bought crystals don't laugh at me but I love crystals I'm really into like crystal like I'm not like an obsessive person that's like you know I'm not Spencer Pratt or whatever his name is from the hills that like has covered his house in crystals don't get me wrong like I have I have levels but since a kid I've always liked crystals you have like an amethyst bracelet and I just think they're just really beautiful crystals and I do feel like they have a lot of energy and power and like I'm very into like energy I can really like read someone's energy like some people can some people can't like I can just tell if someone's like on my vibe or like there's something wrong I just can tell energy and I feel like crystals have energy I might sound like an absolute crazy person right now please just bear with me but this is what's worked for me I'm just sharing you don't have to believe in crystals you don't have to believe in any of this but I am very much a believer of like superstitious things and I don't feel like coincidences coincidences are coincidences I feel like everything like works together um so anyway I have this above my bed so I have this quartz above my bed and then in this bag I have these crystals and it's got still this list that I made obviously I wrote it down in different ways but then I did it in like a really nice way to put with the crystals so that all the crystals are for different things but they're like all my core crystals I have together and then this is my mum's wedding ring I don't know if you can see that so that holds it together because my family is so important to me and then in this list it's literally like started to decay to be honest I don't even know if it can um be red last time I got this out I was really drunk at a house party when people were at my house and I was like let me tell you about my manifestations so <laughs> I've not had it out for a while um but let me just show you I'm not gonna read them all because I'm very oh see that 2017 so at this time I was very much like doing all of the secret things and like all of the like affirmations things so it says i asked the universe for guidance in my path with the following wishes but this is completely up to you i don't do that now i don't like i don't say like i asked the universe i think i've become very much that i think this way anyway so it's like i very much believe in that the universe is like i just said all energy and what you put into it you get out from it so it's up to you if you wanted to write that, but that's where I got it. says, if you wanted to write this down, I asked the universe for guidance in my path with the following wishes. And then the three things that I wrote on here, I have achieved in five years. The first one is, it honestly, like it's literally so faded. You can tell that this is so old. I can't believe I'm actually sharing this with you, to be honest, guys, because this is very, very personal, and I never, ever thought I would get this deep with you guys, because I am quite secretive, and, like, I don't overshare, like, I'm not, I just don't see the point in, like, you knowing, you know, what I had for my tea last night, like, it's just, not everyone needs to know everything about everything, and this is very, very personal to me, so please be kind, like, don't be, like, you know, mean to me, because I'm feeling very vulnerable right now, but anyway. So in this list it says, number one, a job that I love and becomes my life, TV, cameras, filming. So 
from that list I'd originally said when I saw myself in five years time, I wrote it down and I worked out that actually I wanted a career with filming and being creative and I didn't know what that was. At that point I had nothing to do with fashion at all. I was actually very into the gym. I thought it was very gym related. I thought maybe I would need to go and like work within a gym and do so. I didn't know. I didn't know what it was but I just knew I wanted to be involved in being creative. So I knew that I wanted it to be either on TV, cameras, filming. I didn't know what that was. So it was very, quite vague there but right now my life involves being on TV because some of you might right now be watching this on YouTube on a TV. Um, cameras, I'm using a camera right now to film and obviously I've built my business and career from filming content for Instagram, YouTube and TikTok. So, tick. Number two, to get a ring and live my life forever. <laughs> Who am I right now, honestly? 2017 Emily, I just love you right now. You're so sweet. To live my, to get my, to get a ring and live my life forever with Anthony Turns and my parents to see me happy. Tick. Girl got a ring. I've had it a whole year. So we're engaged, we're gonna get married next year. We have a house together. We just got a dog together. I could not be happier with this man. Like I found the love of my life. I am so, thank you. Th thank you universe. Thank. I'm so thankful. I could not have found a more perfect person for me. But, like I said, prior to me writing this list, I'd already found Anthony. And I'm just gonna go and touch on this subject because I know a lot of people are like looking for love and like finding the right person. I would never put the person I'm looking for in a list because I feel like then that really, like I didn't know the person I was looking for was Anthony. So if I'd have wrote down at the time, like previous boyfriends of mine do not look like Anthony or are not like him, but I was going for the wrong person. So when I met him, I'd just been in a prior to relationship for like maybe two years, three years, something like that. And um, I'd just come out of the relationship for four months before I met Anthony. But prior to that, I was going out and socializing and like, meeting up with old friends and we ended up going to this bar that she suggested, walked in there, saw Anthony, met him, dated him for like three months maybe. Then we moved in after nine months. Now we are six, six years in and getting married in 2023. So I wasn't looking for him. There was no pressure on him to be my night and shining armor. There was no pressure for me to need to find somebody at the time that I met him. I was just thinking solely about rebuilding my life and making me the best version I could. I was going to yoga, I was going to the gym, I was like really like finding myself in who I was. I was like I said meeting up with people I'd not seen for ages, I was really just putting myself out there. So the universe handed Anthony on a plate to me where I walked into a bar that I hadn't been in for probably like maybe 10 years or five, six, maybe like six to 10 years prior to that. I'd not been in that bar for a long time because I went to university, it was prior to university that I went to that bar. Um, and I literally walked into that bar for the first time and he was there, he was the first person I saw. He grabbed me, came to talk to me, he was like, it was instant connection. And if I had not said yes, that girl said to go to that bar, I would never have gone in that bar and I would never have met him and he would never have been like there that day. And I would never be able to make this list because I would never have, put myself out there. So I'm just trying to say like, w this needs to work because you need to be open. Like you can't m put these things on a list and then be closed and or have something come to you and then be like, no, no, no I'm not doing that. Or no, 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 I don't like him. Or mm, no, no, you need to be open to anything that's gonna come into your life, good or bad. And I just think the more positive you are and the more you are open to opportunities, Maybe it might not be, so say for the instance when you finish this list, you might have X, Y, and Z on this list and then you're like, oh, that doesn't actually fit into the list that I'm doing. And you say no to that, you actually don't know where that could have led to. It could have led to something eventually being on the list, which I'm gonna go into in a bit afterwards. <sighs> Off on a tangent. Then the third one was, it's really, really faded. To financially be better and not something comfortable. It's gone. So I think it's I basically at that point I was I was in debt. No one knows this. I'm telling you for the first time ever on the internet that I had debt. Um and I just got myself in a mess like from university and just yeah, like living and spending the money that wasn't there and I just was in a real mess. So 
one of the biggest things when I started doing social media full time um, was that I obviously started to earn money doing it in something that I absolutely love to do and I worked my ass off, literally worked 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, I had a manager position so I was doing a very serious job 9 to 5 and then I'd come home from work and I'd start doing content creation up until I went to bed and then on a weekend I would literally work all hours doing content creation for brands for free, I've done that many internships for free, like I have literally, <laughs> I remember my worst internship was for a magazine in London and the woman who I was um, interning for for a magazine, I think it was like, it's part of the Days and Confused group, we're talking like 2000 and maybe eight here, like a long time ago. Um, and it was free, It was back then you didn't get paid for internships, I don't know if you do now, but back then you did not get paid for internships. Um, and she said to me, we've just done a shoe, there's a full suitcase full of shoes there, I want you to take it back across London to the studio. And I was like, it's snowy. She was like, here's my metro card, get on the bus. I was like, okay. So I dragged, this, I'm not joking, this suitcase was huge. It had so many shoes. Can you imagine a suitcase full of heavy shoes? Heavy. And I dragged it, I think I was like 18, 19, maybe about the last time. And I dragged it from one side of London to the other with a metro card for free. Like, I might not sound like a big, big deal, but I'm from Barnsley. I'm from a small town. I live in Leeds now, but I'm from a small town. Like, I'm... I didn't know anyone in London, I'm, I was like, it was a big place for me, a city, I'd never lived in a city in my entire life, to then be like, go and do this, get on this bus, you don't know where you're going, find your own way, get there, drop it off, come back, in the snow, and make it happen, and I was like, okay, I can do it, and I did it, and I do think that like, pushing yourself to the limit, like, I'm not for people bur burning out and stuff like that, like, that's not what I'm saying to you, but I just definitely think that you need to sometimes prove things to yourself and be like I can do this like I can do it I can work and if I want something hard enough I'll bloody work hard for it not everything is given to us and if you want something bad enough that's where I think the test is sometimes a lot of people will give up very very quickly um, and like have the best interests and have these aspirations that they want to achieve but when it comes to it it's too hard and they give up and that's the difference between people that actually do it and make it happen and the people that don't and it's always like oh well they got lucky they did this there's actually no everything in life if you want it hard enough it is obviously you have to work for it and then anything you do then brings opportunity for you what i'm trying to say is that if you are pushing yourself in a forward direction to make your dreams happen it will happen to, to get there you have to put the work in Chapter two is about just like overall. So I've made a list of things I wanted to touch on here and that is realize it's not a race. I think I've already touched on this already, but like if you don't reach these goals, it's fine. Like I set myself a goal, so I'll show you actually, I saved it. This is my old phone. It's my new phone, it's my old phone. So I'm not showing anyone this either. This was my mood board for 2021. So we've got how many followers I wanted to reach. I wanted to reach 256,000 followers on Instagram in 2021, I actually reached 410. I've lost a few because I've not been posting, but I last year reached 410,000 and my goal was 256. So I just wanted to say that like, that didn't, that just kept spiraling because whatever intentions I had put in to meet that goal of 256, it just continued because I got so used to doing the things that were helping me to grow to get to 256, it just continued and continued and continued. And then it's just grown into this crazy amount of people that are following me, which I still can't get my head around to be honest um next was a house this i haven't achieved yet i really want to move house but instead of moving house i did save enough money up to buy to buy a new house but i decided we decided as a couple to invest that money into a business so we started our own business which wasn't even on my board to start a business it just happened because i'm on the journey of saying yes we went to dubai people we were with we mentioned about um, a designer that was out there we got talking to them it just happened it just literally was like i want to do that and we went for a meeting we actually went for a meeting on my birthday with um a manufacturer in dubai um obviously it was my birthday i could have been like no like it's my birthday so i'm on holiday i'm gonna chill but instead i was like no pick us up we're going we're going to have a meeting with this guy i'd never met before on my birthday sat there and now we've got a full-fledged business with staff with a unit it's absolutely crazy but again here's a perfect example of where i just was like yeah opportunity don't know what it means yet but i'm just gonna go with it so that's a new journey that i'm on 
Um, and then, like I said, the house was the bingo, but I chose that can come. Like, I'm not in a rush. Like, what if I get the house, the bigger house that I want, and then I've rushed it, and then I'm like, right, I've got my house now, so what do I need next? Like, I always need a goal. Um, and then the dog, obviously, I've mentioned about Max. Um, my dog that we just got um, on some of my other videos, that he was something I've wanted for so long. But that was the first time I'd ever put it on a manifestation board where I was like, right, this is the year that it happens. I really want us to get a dog so subconsciously which i'm going to get into in a second that was on there on my screensaver so i kept obviously vocalizing that i really want us to get a dog and then the other one is the youtube plaque which again i haven't been able to achieve that but i know for a fact we can quit this moment right now i will hit 100k subscribers on youtube i will get that plaque i know i will because i am not giving up and there's been so many times this year where I've been like, right, come on, get this done, like, do it. And my heart's not always been in it because I've had so many other things going on. So YouTube's always been a bit, like, on the back burner. Whereas I have got to a stage now where I feel like I really know what I'm doing with YouTube. Even me sat here right now having this discussion with you on YouTube is me trying different things than what I've done before. So I can reach this goal. So I'm constantly moving forward and trying different things, saying yes to things, being open. This all started, this video that I'm doing right now, from a story that I did on Instagram where I was asking people like to ask me questions and lots of people asked about manifestation and then I did some more about um, people asking me like agony aunt questions I've done a video on that and then now it's ch it's turned into this playlist that I'm gonna start doing every single month it might completely bomb or it might do really well but I'm putting myself out there and I'm just being proactive positively moving forward I could be right, right now downstairs playing with my dog going for dinner on a Sunday but instead I I'm sat here with you guys chatting because I am working towards my goals. So hopefully you can see what I mean by that. It's not about me making a wish. It's uh, me reaching those goals I've just showed you with my screensaver. It's more that I am always actively pushing myself to do better. I've reached most of those things on that list and I'm debt free. I don't have, I've not had any debt since 2020 now, so since I started doing this full time. First thing I did was get rid of all of my debt. I don't have any debt with, I'm financially comfortable. So every single thing on that list that I wanted to achieve within that five years, I have achieved through hard work, determination and belief. You have to believe in yourself. You have to literally be like, I can make this happen. And honestly, there's been so many times I've had to say to Anthony, please just believe what I'm saying is true. It's going to happen. And he's been like, okay, like, yeah, okay. I believe you. And, and I've done it. I've delivered. I just know if I want something hard enough and I work hard enough and I'm determined enough, it's, I would say like 99.9% .9 going to happen for you. Like there's no doubt in my mind, if you want something and you want it hard enough, it will happen. You just have to work and like I can't I can't explain it it's just like a feeling you just have to like always be open to moving forward that's how I am I'm like right I need to move forward I can't just sit I need to move forward with life and it's just like the best most exciting fun game ever um I don't know if you've ever like played on PlayStation or you've ever played like a game that's been like you've got to complete the levels and you're like moving forward and it's like addictive and you're like oh I need to do this and I need to get to this next level. That's like what my life feels like since I've made that list. Like every single hurdle is like this is so exciting. I'm on a billboard. I've got my own collection. I've got my own business. I've got my own house. I've got my own dog. It's literally like every single thing is just like a journey that you were going on and moving forward and that's why life is like so exciting, unpredictable, fun and it's what you make of it by just being positive. If you are somebody who's quite negative, you really like, you don't want to be this way, but everything that happens in life, like you worry about, or you see the worst, you know, you always think like, oh, that's not the right thing to do, or that's just how you are. And lots of people are like that. Like sometimes it's just who you are or how you've been brought up or who you've been around. It's very hard to break that, but it can be done. Um, you have to just try and be more positive. And I think a really good way to do that is why they suggest you for you to do affirmations and gratitude in the morning. And it's because when you start to think about yourself and how lucky you are to be in your life, whether that's just have your family, to have friends, to, you know, whatever the situation is in your life, there is always something that you can be thankful for. And I really think that does help um, you to be able to be more positive because if you start your day off by thinking about 
you know what it is you're happy and what what makes you happy and what you are grateful for then that will then in turn make you feel more positively towards that so then you'll be more positive last thing obviously i'm going to touch on is what this is all about and this always all links together and that is subconsciously having this way of life so what has worked for me so much and what i always suggest to everybody is what i've already showed you so subconsciously having these things is these boards if this is your screensaver every single day, whether you realise it or not, that information is going to be stored into your head. So it's the same as like, right, if you close your eyes right now in the room that you're in, I bet you can see what's around you. Like, you know where everything is. Like, because subconsciously, your brain has taken that information in to see what where, you're, where you are in the environment. That's like how our brains work subconsciously. So again, if you have this every single day, in your eyesight, your brain will subconsciously take this information in and you will naturally start to make decisions based on the fact that you are subconsciously taking this information in. So it's like, right, subconsciously, I've seen a dog. So I might say to Anthony, oh my God, look at that dog. Like, I love dogs so much. So over and over again, over a period of time, I could get a dog right now, but it's Anthony that actually is the one that's hesitant. So by me over time subconsciously showing him how much I love dogs and how much I want a dog and how you know much I would look after a dog it's not been a decision that's been like a light decision but because I've subconsciously been speaking about it whether I've realized it or not because I obviously I love a dog I want a dog it's, it's happened and then the same with like money so if that's my goal to reach this amount subconsciously if I'm doing things and I'm like oh yeah I want to buy that bag but really, subconsciously, I know that I'm actually trying to reach an amount and I'm thinking, I'm not I'm not the amount. That would maybe like stop me from buying that other bag because I might be like, right, actually my goal is to have a hundred thousand pounds in the bag. Like, how am I gonna do that if I'm gonna buy that bag? So all the time, my mind is subconsciously thinking this way because it's seeing these things on a daily basis. I have it on my phone, I have it on my fridge. I have it so when I'm getting in the fridge I open it in the morning and I have it inside of my bed so every single time I go to sleep before I go to bed the last thing that I see is that mood board of what I'm trying to achieve then when I go downstairs in the morning the first thing I see when I'm gonna go make a coffee is I open the fridge and I see the mood board on the fridge of what I'm trying to achieve then again throughout the day when I'm on my phone which happens about 75,000 times a day I am seeing my goals it is literally imprinted into my brain what I'm trying to achieve and as I've just showed you throughout this video everything has everything I work towards and put my mind to will happen it has happened I am proof that it has happened I hope that makes sense I feel like I've rambled a lot but I mean I've said it move forward about a thousand times but this action of moving forward <laughs> If you can't tell, I feel very passionate about this. It's worked so much for me. I feel like I'm in such an amazing place in my life. I don't think I will ever, ever forget 2021. Like that was the best year of my entire life. I could not be happier. I'm so happy right now. Like everything is just come together in the most perfect way. And that is because I really effing believe in myself. I know for a fact I can work hard. I've been brought up by my mom and dad. My dad used to work, well, my dad went to school. I don't know if, I've not really spoke about this on here, but basically, my grandparents, my Polish grandparents came over in the war after they'd been taken as slaves. Then my dad went to school in England. He couldn't speak any English at all. He worked in the pit with my granddad until the pits closed and then my dad started his own business. My grandparents, my mum's side, worked in a fish shop and were cleaners and on the railway. And then my mum worked in a sewing factory. So I have not come from money. I have not come from, you know, a middle class upbringing, very working class, a balancer girl. My dad went on strike with the mines, like we had no money. I've seen my dad and my mum work so hard to get me the best education, they support me to go to London, all these things, like they have worked so hard for me, which has then shown me how to work hard and shown me how to really believe in myself because if they believe in me so much, then I need to believe in me. I don't want to let them down and I want to show them what they've believed in is worth believing in. And you know, my dad criticised my fashion career. I was like, you're not gonna get any money for out of fashion. Like, it's just silly to do that. And even to this day, we always joke. And I'm like, you know, look, look now, dad. And he's like, yeah, you were totally right. And like, it's one of those things where I, I, I've said it a million times in this video. But like, if you really believe in yourself and you want things to happen, it will happen for you. Whether it's career, love, house, family, it will happen. Like, you will find a way to make things and opportunities. And yeah, like you just got to believe in yourself and not give up and I know that's really easy because sometimes it's so hard like 
honestly, some of the brands I work with now, do you know how many times they knocked me back? Like, I'd message them, they wouldn't reply to me, they'd say they're not working with people right now, and, you know, I'd post videos, they'd get no likes, no views, and I'd be like, oh, like, this is just so hard. But I didn't give up. I'm still here, I'm still grafting, I'm still training, I'm still growing, I'm still moving forward, I'm still trying to achieve the best, and it's all about, you know, trying your hardest so i hope that inspired anybody if it, they thought it was shit i'm really sorry i really I was very honest and very raw and really truly myself in this video so please be kind i hope like even if you took one percent of this and found it useful then thank you thanks so much for watching bye i just want to make things right